For over 30 years, air combat has prioritized invisibility, perfected by aircraft like the F-22 Raptor. This doctrine emphasized minimal radar presence, aiming for first look, first shot, first kill by remaining undetected. However, the official renderings of America's next air dominance fighter, the Boeing F-47, challenge this paradigm with its prominent canard four planes. Canards are typically problematic for stealth, introducing radar reflections. This raises a crucial question for the F-47 program. Why does the successor to the F-22 feature a design element that seemingly compromises stealth? This deliberate engineering trade-off signals a fundamental shift in air combat rules. A minimal radar signature is no longer the sole path to victory in the 21st century battle space. The F-47, with its controversial canards, represents a new doctrine. Its design acknowledges that adversaries will possess sophisticated sensors, making absolute invisibility unachievable. The F-47 is designed not just to avoid detection, but to survive and win in an environment where it assumes it will be detected. The core question, a successor's sacrifice. The F-47's design poses a core question for the next generation air dominance program. Why does the successor to the stealthy F-22 appear to compromise its key advantage? This isn't a compromise, but an evolution, shifting from pure invisibility to comprehensive invincibility in a data-saturated battle space. Understanding the F-47 requires deconstructing new threats, technologies, and the new geography of war that have rendered old rules obsolete. Its design reflects a departure from platform-centric thinking. The F-22 aimed to be a dominant platform. The F-47 is the centerpiece of a family of systems. Its success measured by its ability to command and elevate an entire network of assets, including uncrewed collaborative combat aircraft, or CCAs. Features like canards, seemingly suboptimal for a lone stealth fighter, optimize the entire system, allowing the F-47 to rapidly reposition and defend less agile drones. The problem of canards is a false premise based on an outdated understanding of air combat. The F-47 optimizes for new victory conditions, defined by network performance, data fusion, and system resilience, not just a single airframe's radar cross-section. The predecessor's legacy, the reign and limits of the Raptor. To understand the F-47's leap, consider its predecessor, the F-22 Raptor. Entering service in 2005, the F-22 was revolutionary, combining stealth, supercruise, and thrust vectoring into an unmatched airframe. Its stealth made it nearly invisible to radar, its supercruise allowed sustained supersonic flight without afterburners, and its thrust vectoring provided exceptional agility. However, the F-22 had limitations. Designed for the European theater, its 470 nautical mile combat radius is a severe liability in the Indo-Pacific, requiring vulnerable refueling tankers. Its 1990s-era electronics lack modern sensor fusion and high bandwidth networking, making upgrades difficult and expensive. Furthermore, the small fleet of 187 aircraft is overworked and costly to maintain. The F-35 Lightning II, despite its own challenges, showed the way forward. While slower and less agile than the F-22 in air-to-air -air combat, its advanced sensor suite and networking capabilities made it a flying quarterback, providing a comprehensive battle space picture. This created a schism. The F-22 had kinematic dominance, but limited networking. The F-35 had networking, but limited kinematics. The NGAD program, with the F-47 at its core, aims to resolve this by fusing the F-22's physical dominance with the F-35's information dominance into a single, lethal ecosystem. The New Battlefield, Forging a Sixth Generation Fighter The F-47 fighter's design is a direct response to a new strategic landscape, primarily driven by the United States' pivot to the Indo-Pacific in competition with China. 
This necessitates a combat radius of over a thousand nautical miles, allowing the F-47 to operate from Allied bases and strike deep within China's first island chain without constant reliance on vulnerable refueling tankers. Urgency is amplified by China's J-36 sixth-generation program already undergoing flight tests and projected to enter service by 2030, putting it in a direct race with the F-47's 2018 target. This fuels the Air Force's we-have-to-go-fast mantra. To meet these challenges, the Air Force adopted a family-of-systems approach with the F-47 as the quarterback, supported by over a thousand collaborative combat aircraft, or CCAs. These uncrewed drones act as loyal wingmen, extending sensors, carrying additional weapons, or serving as electronic warfare platforms and decoys. This allows the high-value F-47 to remain at a safer distance while cheaper CCAs probe defenses. This strategy, countering China's A2AD capabilities, creates a complex, multi-vector problem for adversaries, saturating defenses and ensuring F-47 survival. Within this context, the F-47's canards provide extreme agility not for dogfighting, but for maintaining command and control over its drone swamp, evading threats, and protecting less agile CCAs. The pilot's role shifts to mission commander, optimizing the airframe for system survivability and command effectiveness. The Technological Revolution Deconstructing the F-47 The F-47, a sixth-generation platform, integrates revolutionary technologies that represent a significant leap beyond the F-22 and F-35. Its dominance stems from three pillars, broadband low observability, spectral warfare, and persistent long-range supercruise. Pillar 1, broadband all-aspect low observability. While F-22 and F-35 stealth primarily defeats high-frequency radars, X-band, adversaries like China and Russia use multi-layered air defenses with low-frequency early warning radars, VHF and L-bands. Due to physics, these longer radar waves can cause resonance and reveal stealth aircraft from hundreds of kilometers, compromising surprise. The F-47's broadband all-aspect low observability counters this by minimizing its radar signature across the entire electromagnetic spectrum, from low-frequency VHF to high-frequency X and Q bands. This requires advanced composite materials, nanostructures, and new manufacturing. All aspect means reduced signature from all directions, not just frontal. The goal isn't perfect invisibility, but to make detection so difficult and signals so weak that enemies cannot build a complete hill chain to engage the aircraft. Pillar 2. Beyond Jamming – The Dawn of Spectral Warfare Spectral warfare is a significant, often misunderstood, sixth-generation leap, moving beyond traditional electronic warfare, electronic attack, protection, support. It focuses on achieving dominance over the entire electromagnetic environment. The F-47 acts as a master sensor and manipulator of the spectrum. It passively ingests all enemy radar emissions, communication links, and data networks in real time. This vast data is fused with its own powerful sensors, AESA radar, IRST, and other undisclosed sensors, to create a perfect, high-fidelity battle space picture for the pilot. Simultaneously, the F-47 employs advanced AI and cognitive EW systems to actively manage and weaponize the spectrum. This goes beyond simple noise jamming. It can spoof enemy sensors with phantom fleets, inject corrupted data into networks, manipulate communications, or even use an adversary's network against them. The objective is cognitive degradation in enemy commanders, making them doubt their sensors, shattering situational awareness, and paralyzing decision-making. Broadband stealth makes the F-47 hard to see, spectral warfare makes the entire battle space hard to understand for the enemy. Pillar 3. The Power of Persistence, Supercruise, and Range while broadband stealth and spectral warfare provide the F-47's defensive and information dominance capabilities, its offensive power is primarily driven by its immense range and speed. The ability to supercruise fly at sustained supersonic speeds above Mach 1.5 without afterburner is crucial for the Pacific Theater. 
This allows the F-47 to close distances rapidly. Supercruise drastically reduces transit times across vast distances, increasing sortie generation and allowing for rapid redeployment. Dictate engagements. Arriving at Mach 1.5 gives the F-47 a significant kinetic and potential energy advantage, leading to longer missile ranges and greater evasion capabilities. Increased survivability and resilience. Spending less time in threat envelopes and outrunning legacy threats enhances survivability. Combined with its 1,000-plus nautical mile combat radius, it reduces reliance on vulnerable tanker aircraft. The F-47's range and speed offer operational and strategic freedom unmatched by the F-22. The F-47's seemingly contradictory design, particularly the inclusion of canard foreplanes on a stealth airframe, is explained by a new doctrine, layered survivability. This philosophy integrates multiple, reinforcing technologies and tactics to ensure the aircraft's dominance in contested environments, systematically dismantling the modern kill chain. The process begins with find. The F-47's broadband, all-aspect low observability is its first defense, designed to make initial detection by any sensor as difficult and fleeting as possible denying the enemy a solid initial contact. Should detection occur, the next links are fix and track. The F-47's Spectral Warfare Suite immediately works to prevent adversaries from building a stable, continuous track. Through electronic decoys, digital noise, and active signal manipulation, the F-47 becomes a ghost appearing and disappearing or showing up in false locations, rendering enemy sensor data unreliable. The next link is target. Without a stable, continuous track, an enemy fire control system cannot generate a weapons-quality targeting solution. The F-47's combination of broadband stealth and spectral warfare ensures targeting fails before a weapon is launched. Finally, there is Engage. This is the ultimate insurance and the definitive reason for the canards. Acknowledging that a weapon might eventually be launched against a sophisticated adversary, the F-47 relies on pure kinematic performance. The extreme maneuverability from its canard foreplanes and advanced flight control system provides the ultimate ability to physically defeat incoming threats, to outturn or outrun missiles in the final seconds. Thus, the paradox is solved. The canards are not a compromise on stealth, but the capstone of a holistic, multi-layered survivability strategy. They represent a physical acknowledgement that in the sixth generation battle space, stealth alone is insufficient. True invincibility is achieved through a deep, synergistic integration of stealth to delay detection, spectral warfare to confuse targeting, and as a final guarantee, extreme agility for a last ditch kinematic kill. The conclusion is the future of air combat. The F-47 fighter marks a fundamental shift in air warfare moving beyond the fifth generation to redefine aerial conflict for the 21st century. This revolution is driven by three core paradigm shifts. First, the F-47 represents a shift from platform supremacy to system dominance. It acts as a command node, orchestrating a network of uncrewed collaborating combat aircraft, transforming individual duels into a complex multi-domain chess match where distributed lethality and information superiority are key. Second, the F-47 evolves from passive stealth to multi-layered survivability. Acknowledging the limitations of absolute invisibility, it combines broadband low observability with active spectral warfare and extreme kinematic performance to disrupt enemy kill chains, making it impossible to effectively target. Third, the F-47 expands from traditional electronic warfare to total spectral dominance. Designed to master the electromagnetic spectrum, it can sense, understand, and manipulate the environment to blind adversaries while protecting its own network. These advancements raise questions about the future of the human pilot. The F-47 pilot will become a mission commander, orchestrating human and machine assets with primary skills in systems management and data-driven tactical decision-making. The F-47 is not just a new fighter, it forges a new kind of warfighter 
who will command the future of air combat.